Ew, lucky you didn't drink it. The meal is spoiled. Did you know why we shouldn't drink spoiled milk, kids? Let knowledge click. Milk is full of good stuff like calcium, phosphorus, and vitamins. But sometimes, harmful germs like E. coli or salmonella can still exist in milk. After opening, if milk isn't kept cold and clean, more bacteria can sneak in. These bacteria eat lactose, the natural sugar in milk, and make acid as waste. This waste makes the milk go bad, get chunky, and smell really yucky. Oh! Uh. Oh no! What if I drank spoiled milk? If you drink spoiled milk, don't worry too much. Most of the time, your stomach acid can destroy the bad germs. If you're healthy, you might just need to go to the bathroom. But if your body is weak, some germs might survive, reach your intestines, and cause nausea, belly pain, or bad diarrhea. How do I know if the milk is still okay to drink? Look at the date on the box, Wufu. If it expired, better not drink it, even if no one opened oh. it yet. <laughs> hmm. If it's open milk and it tastes sour or strange, spit it out right away and yeah. rinse your mouth. Don't swallow it. Oh, I get it now. Friends, from now on, remember to check the date on the milk so we hmm. don't drink spoiled milk. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Uh-oh, I swallowed it. Did you know what will happen if we swallow gums? Let knowledge click! Ha ha ha! This place will be all mine! Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't worry, it won't be that bad! When we <laughs> chew, the substance in our saliva mixed with the chewing gum. When this mixture is swallowed, it quickly comes into contact with the acid in the stomach. Due to the chewy structure of gum, it is difficult for it to break down. How can my stomach get rid of them then? Don't worry, even though chewing gum can be digested, your stomach will still push it out within about three days, just oh. like other food. Mm. <laughs> Swallowing one piece of chewing gum isn't dangerous. But you shouldn't swallow too many. Be sure to tell when it does right away if you accidentally do. Mm. Oh, that's way too mm. salty.
Why are you drinking so much water? <laughs> he ate a ton of salty fries too. Oh, I see. You're mm. thirsty because of all that salt. I'll show you why. Let knowledge click. So, helps your body keep water, move muscles, and send signals. But we only need about one teaspoon, about five grams of salt a day. Too much salt makes your blood too salty. So, the blood needs water to water down all that salt. That's why you feel so thirsty. Your body needs more and more water. Extra water goes to your kidneys to clean it up. But if there's too much salt, your kidneys have to work super hard. The water fills your bladder and you need to be alone. But that's not all. Too much salt can also hurt your heart. It makes blood parts tighter, so your heart has to work harder. Later, it can even make you forget things or have heart problems. Hmm. To stay healthy, eat fruits, veggies, drink plenty of water, and just eat a little bit of snacks like fries. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like you have some cavities. Oh. What's a cavity? Hmm. I think many friends have the same question as you. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. There are lots of germs in our mouth. But don't worry, not all of them are bad. Some germs really love sweet things like candy, cake, and sugary milk. When they eat sugar, they make acid. That acid wears down the enamel, the tooth shield. If we don't clean it, the tiny hole gets bigger and turns into a cavity. At first, cavities don't hurt, so you don't even know they're there. But over time, the hole gets deeper and reaches the nerve. That's when your tooth starts to hurt and feel super sensitive. It can even swell up and get infected. And then you will need to see the dentist. Is there any way to avoid it? Yes, remember these things. Brush and rinse your mouth every day. Use floss after meals to clean food stuck between your teeth. Try not to eat or drink too many sugary things. Like Lucy just had some coffee. Did you know what happens if kids drink too much coffee? Let knowledge click. 
Coffee contains a substance called caffeine. It can make us feel more awake and alert. When caffeine enters the body, it blocks the sleepiness chemical in the brain. Making the brain more active, like flipping on a bright light switch in your head. So that's why my dad often drinks coffee in the morning when he works. But drinking too much coffee isn't good for your body, especially for kids. Coffee gives your brain a boost that isn't natural. At first, it makes you feel really full of energy. But caffeine keeps the brain tense, which can make you feel tired and harder to concentrate. It can also make your heart beat faster, leaving you feeling uneasy and restless. Caffeine can also cause stomach aches, shaky hands and legs, or even make you very dehydrated. Besides coffee, kids under 12 should avoid drinks with caffeine like energy drinks and tea too. What are we going to do with her now, Professor? First, give her plenty of water to flush out caffeine faster and reduces its effects on the brain and heart. We can also give her a light snack, especially foods rich in fiber or protein, to help slow down the absorption of caffeine in the body. Oh. Oh. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.